Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, namely Sentinel-1 SAR data, how we can easily filtering and visualizing in Google Earth Engine platform. So I will show you that all of those things step by step. I hope after completing this full tutorial, you are able to do filtering and visualizing this Sentinel-1 SAR data. And basically, uh, this Sentinel-1 SAR data has a lot of application in reverse sensing. And this data set we can get for that. Uh, mainly, you can see the slide in here: day, night, all weather coverage to the Earth surface, and frequent uh, revisit times. You can see hours to day one, days to weeks, and months to year. So we can get the different types of frequent revisit time using this Sentinel-1 SAR data. And its variable resolution 1 to 100 meter and wide cover is uh, 25 to 450 kilometer. And we can get the high, mainly 2 meter, and medium resolution 10 to 15 meter global uh, topography. And there's a lot of uses uh, for different types of global change models, such as above ground biomass, soil moisture, wetland, land cover types, ocean surface current, ice mass balance, glacier velocity. So there's a lot of uses to the using the Sentinel-1 SAR data. So in this time, I will show you that how we can easily use the Google Earth Engine platform and then how we can easily filtering the Sentinel-1 SAR data. So basically, you can check the different types of information about that you can see. HS, mainly it's a single co-polarization horizontal transmit horizontal receiver. HB, mainly dual and cross polarization and horizontal transmit vertical receiver. And VB mainly it's a single copolarization vertical transmit and vertical receive, and VS mainly it's a dual band cross polarization and vertical transmit horizontal receive. So this type of band we can easily access from the Sentinel One SAR data, and here you can see the unit is the mainly dB, and we can get this type of pixel size. You can see 10 meter. Okay, it's the Sentinel One SAR data 10 meter, and here you can see about the description about that. So basically, how it will work, all of those things you can easily get from here for the data formation or all of those things. So also you can see about that image properties. So basically in this time we get the different types of image properties for that Sentinel SAR data term of use. So first of all, I will show you that how we can easily work with this data set and filtering this data set for a specific cities. So this is my image collection. First of all, I simply copy this art in the snippet from here. So basically this is the unique ID. So this unique ID I simply copy from here, copy, and then paste in my code editor. So I just paste here. And if you want, you can put any name. So I just give a name. I put the name such as it's a Sentinel. Suppose I put the name as a Sentinel one. Okay. So just I put this name Sentinel one, and then this image collection. I just store it in this variable Sentinel one. So further, this Sentinel one, I just uh, make the filtering. So in this time, I need the Sentinel one image collection for my specific. Suppose a specific boundary such as Dhaka city. I simply import the Dhaka city boundary and further I simply put here that ROI. I put the rename it as the ROI and in this time I just simply filter, filter by region, filter by time period, filter by image uh, band. So this type of thing I simply filter in here. So for that I just take a variable, put the variable name suppose collection. And then I simply call my image collection Sentinel One. Basically, it stored my full image collection Sentinel One SAR data. I simply call and do the function, mainly filter bounds function. Filter bounds with my study area, which is ROI. I give the name as a ROI. And further, I simply put here that filter date function for choose the specific time period of this image. So I put this image suppose year of two thousand twenty one. I put this image year of two thousand twenty one. 2021 for uh, 1st January. Suppose from here, year of 2021, December 31. I put this name frame it look like that. And further, I simply filter to get image with VB and VS dual polarization. Okay. So further, I simply use a function filter. And how I can filter? I want to filter art engine filter dot list contents. And further, I put at that trust meter receiver polarization VV. So here you can easily get it from here the band. And here you can see 
so in this time we we'll just work for the vv and vs okay these two and i want to show and visualization about that and i want to filter the vv and vs dual polarization so for that i have to use it uh, transmitter receiver so just i simply write this in here basically it's called the transmitter trans meter receiver polarization and then put here this band name okay and for the same i simply copy the same line of code then i simply take the transfer receiver polarization for case band so just put here the vv and just i simply change it i put the name is that ES. so in this time uh, i just simply filter to get image collected in, in uh, inter ferrometric white so far that i simply put at the uh, iw mainly the interferometric white mode so just i simply filtered this mode interferometric so just use at the filter and further i just put here art engine filter well what's equal what just put at that instrument mode so put here in to main Mode and put at the IW. IW means interferometric white. Just I put at a IW interferometric white. So after doing these things, now I want to check about that. Uh, based on the orbit, suppose orbit can be descending or ascending mode. Okay. So in this time, I'll check about the orbit. How much uh, tiles for the ascending? How much tiles for the uh, descending? So for that, I take a variable. Post descending and I call my collection so my collection I simply copy and paste here and further I just simply filter filter it so use our earth engine filter dot equal what's equal what this time I put here that orbit properties pass so in this time I put here that orbit proper is Pass equal to I put at that descending descending and also put the same things I simply copy from here and paste keep the name suppose ascending just I put at this variable name ASC and collection filter and this time I simply put at that ascending just I put at the ascending In this time, I simply filtering my collection and then descending. So basically, it's represented that orbit filter based on the orbit ascending and descending mode. If you want to also check about the how much tiles is available, so for the print, that the print function, print the descending and use at the size function. Click to the run. So now it shows you the result. How much ascending tiles we got in this time we can get the ascending sorry in this time we can get the descending is a 30 and further you will see about the how much tiles for that ascending so just call the asc and put at the size function and click run so now we also it computed how much uh, tiles for the this uh, ascending okay we can get the descending tiles 30 and ascending tiles mean uh, we can get the 29 and further also in uh, if you want you can also take the first uh, no problem in this time we create the composite okay from means at different polarization and look angles so for that i just take a variable suppose i put the variable name uh, is a uh, composite you can any name i put the variable is a composite and further i just use a function mainly this function called the ee e dot image dot get function and then further i just put here this all of those band i simply select so from the ascending from the ascending so it's the asc ascending i select the band for es just put here that es 
and I calculated that mean get the mean after that I take the another also same I put the ascending also select the another band call the EV from here also calculate the mean result and finally I also call the descending get the descending and select the select function select the mainly gas band calculate the mean okay and finally we are just calculate the focal median so for that just i use a function focal median call the focal focal median function and now i want to display this result so for that just use here map dot add layer and call this composite and this composite uh, clip with my study area so just clip with clip with ry and also focus the center of the shape file so just use here map dot uh, center object object mainly ry call here the suppose 10 and click on so now we look at the image what we can get from here you can see the study area so now it will be loaded this composite e is we can get this time so in this time we have also add had the band combination in terms of band combination you can easily get the visualization more better about the senior one star data so in this time just i click on here getting properties here you can see you can get this type of thing okay so we can get the vis vb vis one so just i simply select add suppose vb then put at that yes and the base one i just simply increase the custom at 98 percent and further just apply it so now we can get this type of visualization about our sar image or if you want you can also put here the custom visualization mainly uh, display the composite of the polarization and vex scattering characteristics so if you want you can also put here that suppose i just make a visualization parameter so just use a curly bracket and in this curly bracket mention about that mean value so put at the mean so mean and make a list about that i put at the minus 25 like screen value then suppose minus 20 then suppose minus 5 but there i also put at the max value max will i simply put here I put the max value make a list about that and put at the max value for zero then 10 and also put at the zero for back screen value now further we try to check about that what the value we can get what type of image we can get okay so now we can get this type of uh, imagery when i put the back screen value value v ace vv and vs we can put this type of value Mean and max, then we can get this type of visualization about that SAR imager. See, this is our final output you can get from here for the single one SAR imager. So here you can see this is our final output or you can find out this type of result okay and now if you want you can easily export this single one sar data and further you can also work with the other type of software now in this time you can easily use this imagery for the different types of uh, work such as land use land cover classification as well also biomass modeling a lot of use for that uh the sar imagery there are a the lot of uses can uh, for that tutorial so that discuss about this type of things here you can see this is our final product you can easily export this type of imagery from here as well as you can also make the different types of analysis okay so you also try and further face any problem okay the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program on google earth engine platform so basically it's our total seven days online training program so now this race is open our live training class will be start from the 19 april Okay, so now this session is the opening 
first 10 lessons will get the 50 percent discount mainly it's a total seven days online training program we take the class on this time this day three hours we provide in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and you can see all of those course content i already added in the video description you can also check from my video description as well as you can also get the some course benefits suppose when you need to join you can get the e-certificate after submitting all of the assessment you can get the course material mainly slide or pdf you can get the, all of those practice code you can get all of those recorded classes as well as you can also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important for as a beginner when you learn the goal of teaching platform there's a lot of problem so that's why you're also providing the lifetime teaching support so that's why you can easily learn the google at engine and also learn all of those things properly okay so if you want to be interested to join this live training session you can simply contact in this whatsapp number you can also contact with this so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe